If you have parent records with lots of children, this video is just for you, my friend. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this example, I'll show you how to add a search box to a form that will filter an embedded report. For this demonstration, I'll be using a Lego app, using the publicly available information on Legos. And the reason I'm using the Lego demonstration is because there's a lot of data. And what's a problem when you have a lot of data? Finding the data you want. For example, here on the parts categories table, we have 57 different part categories, but each category has a whole lot of parts. Notice the number of parts here on the right. So what happens when we're looking at the minifigs and we want to find a particular minifig or a particular type of minifig, let's say all the princesses. How do we go about searching this report while on the part category parent record? Well, that's exactly what we'll be doing. I'm going to right click and just add a field before this one. Our first field is going to be our search term. This is where users will type in what they're looking for, and it'll be a simple text box. Click Done. After this field, we'll add another field. This will be our search button. This will be the button that users click after they enter their search term in order to initiate the actual search. This will be a formula URL button. And now let's build out our button. I'll right click and edit the properties for this field. And really the only function I need this button to do is save the record. I need to lock in that search term and then redisplay the record that we're already on. Here I've entered a URL string using a number of different functions and strings as well as the field record ID. You can learn more about building out formulas like these in the action button toolbox. If you head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash toolbox, I have a whole bunch of different action buttons that you can create, but essentially all this is doing is reloading the page that we're currently on. I'll give it a name and want to make it a button. I want to use something in the red, like our Lego red. Now, in addition to this, I want to add just a little bit of extra formula. This will ensure that this button will only show after the record's been saved at least the initial time. So it checks if there is a record ID. If there is no record ID, the button will not show. Otherwise, we'll see the button. Click Save. And now I've got the button. Now if I edit, I can enter a search term as well as search. But <laughs> we're not done yet. We need to connect this up to our parts table now. So I'll go into the relationship between part categories and parts. and I'll add a lookup field to my search term. Great. Now I've got the search term going from that parent record onto the child records. With that done, I'll come in and customize the report that's being used to display all those records. That's here in the parts field. It's using an embedded report called embedded for part categories. Now I can just modify this report here, or I can create a brand new report that will display what I need with that search term lookup field that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and edit this, but if you have any plans to use this particular report for anything else, I highly suggest you create a different report for this search function. With the report options open, I'll scroll down to filter. Here we'll be searching the name field of the part, and we want to see if it contains the value in the field. This was part category search term. That's where our search term was coming from. That's it. Now, if you have multiple fields that you want to search, you'll need to bring over those search terms into multiple fields or compare it against multiple fields. Click Save. 
exit out of this pop-up. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna hide the label for our button. Click save. Notice, <laughs> we're not getting any results, but let's, let's search for something really quick. I'll search for my princesses and click search. And now I'm seeing 26 different parts that match princess, searching that name field. But we probably want to be able to still see all results when we have no search. In order to make that change, I'll need to add a separate field in my parts table. Heading back into parts, go into the settings and we'll add a new field. I'll call this search match and this will be a formula text field. I already had it written before, so this is the second version of it. What I've done here is said if the search term is empty, right, when we had that empty state, I want to bring back the name, the full name. I want to match against the entire name for each part. Otherwise, let's use that search term. I'll click Save exit out of here and then I need to go into that embedded report back on our part categories table let's head into those mini figs and back on our report I'll adjust this because I want that new field the match to be used instead of this search term and that was match too click save Close this pop-up, exit out of here. And now you can already see there's no search term entered and we see all 8,556 parts. If I search for something like Batman and search, <laughs> 93 different parts that refer to Batman. Of course, this is the Lego data set so we get to have a little bit of fun. If you want to do more cool things with relationships and gain a better understanding of the fields used in a relationships, like the report links and lookups that we used here, head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash training and take a look at demystifying the relationship. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.